Hello folks, for once I get to do an actually positive video about just the weekend we've had together as a family. Um, there's not been any kind of drama -y bits going on. Um, school on Thursday and Friday were absolutely br uh, brilliant. Um, I think Ollie came home with very good notes in his book. Um, I mentioned before that one of my colleagues is a bit of an expert in SEN teaching and support and we had quite a long chat Friday morning about things where I explained situations that happened at school she suggested what she did in her time like she had over sort of 10 15 years worth of time working in schools to the point where she'd gone as far as head teacher in sort of schools that deal specifically with SEM people like a massive wealth of experience and she was just like have they considered doing this have they considered doing that you know some stuff that we just hadn't thought of doing like uh, the fact that Ollie was calling out in class and getting upset if he wasn't picked to answer questions. She said, just give him a little whiteboard and get him to draw or write the answer so that his voice is getting heard. The teacher can say, oh, well done, or oh, Oliver's got it right. Can anybody else tell me? Or Oliver's not got it right. Can someone tell Oliver what the answer is? And just little bits like that that would include him more without him being kind of angry that he wasn't getting to sort of speak out every time and um, she understands a lot of stuff that I've never really considered about just traits and things like she was saying that part of that is he will feel his voice needs to be heard and if his voice isn't heard he won't acknowledge the fact that he's maybe been heard earlier in the day he, he feels the need to be heard there and then and that's part of it and so giving him that outlet saves him a lot of grief that he would otherwise have a problem with um you know, it's been interesting. I sent the school some messages. We, I asked them what other things they'd like me to talk about with them and send some ideas across. The main thing they want is help with transitioning, which I know is quite a common thing anyway and something that really we just have to keep signposting and trying to help with. But yeah, I feel quite positive that I've got this random extra source of knowledge. Um, I was thinking about it on the way home today and I was thinking there's not many people in our scenario who have someone like that just working with them all day. You know, I've got Kev, who's obviously lives a mile away from me, does a channel all about Andy, you know, has all the wealth of knowledge and experience and contacts. And Anna, obviously, who's grown, you know, lived with Andy his entire life and, uh, you know, been his mum and knows everything about it. The pair of them know so much and they're obviously like my two closest friends, like literally where we live and the things we've been through together. Um, it's quite funny thinking that, like, most people don't have that. I don't mean that in a braggy way, it's just weird. I feel a bit kind of like, I'm in a very different, unique situation. This doesn't make it any simpler when stuff gets stressful. Um, it doesn't make every scenario simple because every child's different. But um, yeah, I'm looking on the bright side of things today that, God, if I lived in Essex still, um, you know, where I grew up and hadn't met the people I'd met, I'd be in a very different situation with very different help and very little going for, for our support, really. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty cool about that. Um, we had a quite nice weekend. I I don't know if I mentioned before, Ollie had been obsessing over this game Spore that came out in like 2008. Um, the idea is you make a little amoeba, you give it its features, what colour it is and that kind of thing. And then you have to go around and eat pieces of either meat or plant. We made the mistake of being a meat eater. And you basically grow and evolve and then you become an animal, like a creature. And you grow and evolve and you become sentient and so forth. Um, he'd seen a video of this a couple of months back, maybe about a month ago. And kept asking me if I could get it for him. And I kept not really understanding what it was. Not really thinking I could get it. And it turned out I already owned it. So I'd spent the past week saying to him, if he stays in bed all night, if he does, you know, if he if he doesn't keep coming down, if he just lays and relaxes and goes to bed, every, you know, three or four nights in a row, then on Saturday morning I'll download it and get it sorted for him. Um, it turned out that I couldn't get it straight away because I have a Mac. I managed to faff around and get it working on Origin. I had to go basically buy it for like three fifty, but it wasn't the end of the world. Um, so. I think Friday night, it has such a great run. I let him, I, I installed it thinking I wanted it to be ready for him. And I let him have a quick go. We basically made the amoeba. And then Saturday morning, I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot. I played myself because uh, I told him that when we got up in the morning, we would play it. And he was brilliant in that he didn't come in and outright wake me up. 
but I was laying in bed at maybe eight o'clock and he came in and opened the curtains in the hope that the light would wake me. He then kept coming in and just making little noises or doing little things and to the point where he was bouncing on the bed, bless him. And I was like, ah, oh, I really need to sleep. I'm so tired. I think I'd managed to get to sleep about half one and I'm laying there and I'm trying to be kind of like, he doesn't know I'm awake. He doesn't know that I'm here. He's not doing anything naughty. He's, you know, he's, he's just so desperate to play this game. So I'm just gonna let him, let him simmer, he's all right. And then um, I can hear him getting excited. He, he was, I, to his credit, he was absolutely amazing. He was so good at holding it in. You could tell he really wanted it. Um, at first I was just trying to, I was thinking, if I give him straight away, it's gonna encourage him to keep doing this. So I didn't, but I could hear him talking to Claire downstairs and she was kind of saying, you know, it won't be long. You'll be getting up soon, don't worry. So I sort of jumped up and called down to him and said, I'm just gonna have a shower and then I'll come down. Thank you for waiting for so well. You've done such a good job. And he was all excited. When I come out of the shower in my towel, he was sat at the bed waiting for me. And I was like, you go in your room and get dressed, we'll have a race. So we had a race getting dressed. And then I basically ended up having like, I think I ended up playing an hour of this before I'd even had breakfast. We were just kind of, we got through so many stages. He was getting up. So he, be, he literally said to me, I want to play it now. You go off and do your, like, you go and get breakfast. I let him take control and his little, his little monster got killed instantly. He was like, ah. So I had to give him a hug and calm him down because it doesn't do anything. It's not, you know, there's no harm to them being eaten. You just hatch a new one. But um, we must have played that for about two hours together. It was quite fun. He was really cute with it. And he's learning about how things have evolved over time and, you know, Know, what different features were and stuff like that. I thought it was quite a good little educational game, really. He was well up for it. And um, yeah, we went to, so after that, we decided to take him out. I thought it was raining a bit and we didn't, we were going to go to a park and it started pouring down. I know on Kev's channel, he's been talking about it being the worst rain and floods and ever that Lincolnshire have ever seen or whatever nonsense, but um, that they keep sort of saying in the press and that. But um, we drove off to some place in Guyhern where they were, it was like an activity world type thing and they were running around for about, again, another two hours. Um, I just sat there catching Pokemon on their little little lure set up and I just catching stuff constantly. Um, barely did anything. I just sat there drinking a little bottle of Pepsi and just chilling out. Because um, I was still knackered being woken up early by him. Everyone said to me, eight o'clock's a lie in, but I stayed up, I couldn't get to sleep. So it wasn't a lie for me. Um, but I had a really nice day running around and just chilling out and Ollie uh, was playing with a couple of older lads who seemed to include him in their game. So the, the fact, I think he just kind of imposed on them, but they didn't mind and they just ended up running around going up and down things and whatever. And you know, I'm sure most of you know the same sort of thing that they, he's just quite happy repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over. So every time I looked up, he was just going around this circuit and they seemed to be enjoying it. So I just, yeah, he was happy. Ben was happy. Emily just seemed to disappear off. Couldn't find anyone her own age, but just made her own fun. Um, yeah, that was nice. I think after that, I, I, I don't think we did anything after. I was gonna say after that, we yeah, we pretty much came home and they're all zonked out and then it was bedtime. But I think we managed a bit more of sport because again, he was like, we're home now. That's what we do when we're home. So I said to him Sunday, Father's Day, um, I, I'd learned my lesson and I said that when we have eaten lunch, we can play sport. Because it was Father's Day, I got a proper lie-in. I think I got woken up about 10, which is amazing. I was so tired and I was so grateful. They gave me my Father's Day presents. Um, my kids have trouble remembering subtle hints. Um, I joked to them that if we get any more Father's Day mugs, we're gonna have a cupboard with just Father's Day mugs. We're not gonna have any other type of mug. All of our cups say, world's best dad. You know, I love my dad, daddy's little monkey and all of this. Um, we used to have a range of nice normal mugs, but now they're all Father's Day mugs. So I made that point to them um, in a polite way and just said, chocolate's cool. Anything that they, cause they have like a thing at school where you go in and they lay out loads of gifts and stuff. Um, I'm guessing they forgot the memo because I ended up with, a really cool uh, super dad mug with a cape on it and a cool frame that went with it and a bar of chocolate, yes. And then Ollie, bless him, got me a really cute uh, daddy saurus mug with a little diddy saurus mug that's for him. Um, so I got three mugs off the two of them. <laughs> and then Ben made this nice picture of like a footprint over a bigger, you know, following in daddy's footprints. I think I've got about six of them, I think, <laughs> from the kids for over the years. Um, nurseries are all pretty similar. I was like, oh, oh, I'll put this with the other ones, but no, it's cute. If uh, if historians find that in the future, they'll think that we were some weird family of six-feeted monsters, um, because it is funny, they all have exactly the same kind of boot size with a little boot in the middle. They'll just be like, what is this print? Um, 
but yeah, it was cute. We had a nice morning. They were really chuffed giving me my stuff, really excited. Um, I must say, I come down about 11 and basically got forced to have my lunch at 11 o'clock. So I had a cheese sandwich for breakfast. So I didn't really win. And we ended up playing sport for another couple of hours. Um, it's such a nice paced game. It is really good. I recommend people checking it out. I say it's £3.50 on like all of the different... If you type in spore key, uh, it'll come up on a shop on Google and just three quid, £3.50 on Mac. Um, really low specs, so it works on pretty much anything. And... Um, it was just like you can't go wrong it was just like oh we got eaten oh it's okay another one hatched let's go make free i think you can play it how you want so like you could go and attack everybody you could go and eat everybody but i was like we're going to be friends with everyone and i was showing oliver how you know we managed to take over the whole continent by making friends with all the other people and even when they attacked us we gave you know we went and we said no i don't want to fight you let's be friends and danced around and you know the, the, they tell you what they want to see so they'll do a little dance you got to do a little dance back or they'll blow a horn you got to blow a horn back and we were just copying that and you know i thought it was quite nice teaching him to just be friendly with people you can get far with being friendly i don't want him to be too like giving or whatever and be taken advantage of but you know i'm thinking this is teaching him to be more caring and not not as aggressive sort of thing and i think early on in the game he was like go and kill that thing go and eat that thing and i was like that's not how you it's not how you progress look you know i think we went near someone and they ended up knocking us down and killing us and i was like so you're really sad you got killed let's be nice to them and they'll be nice to us back and we convinced them around to be our ally so it was a good game it's, it's been really nice i think we spent another hour and a half this evening playing it um we're up to like a point now where we're a civilization and we're going around converting other beasts to our like religion in it and trying to get them all again it, the option was kill them or convert them so we're converting them um i think the next once you've got the whole world on your side you then get in a spaceship and fly off to another planet and start over again i believe um but no he just absolutely adores it and it's been it's probably been the defining thing about the past four days but it's been really fun i'm glad he, he's um He's so like me when I was little. He's so into geeky little games like that. Um, I think when I was seven or eight, SimCity was my favourite game. That was what I played all the time. My cousin introduced it to me. Um, I think SimCity and then it ended up being Theme Hospital and stuff like that. And he seems to be following that track to a T at the moment. Um, every, I mean, he loves City Skylines, loves Minecraft. And now he loves Spore. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just interesting how extremely similar our, our, our uh, tastes are. Um, I suddenly thought the other day he hasn't seen Sonic X and I think I mentioned I, I, got, it, I got it on because I was like, he's going to love this. I was like, I'd have lost my mind at this when I was his age, so I put it on. Um, he and Emily were glued to it for about three episodes. I had to kind of pr prize them off it. Um, but it, I know you kind of raise your kids how you you know you by your own experiences but i don't think i particularly other than pokemon i've not really pushed him towards anything i think when he was little and pokemon go came out i took them out to play it not really expecting it to take over as much as it did um i am trying to kind of ease them into football a bit by letting them stay up late to watch spurs when they play late and stuff like that making them see it's a good thing you get to stay up. you know that's a little bit i suppose but then my dad did the same with that but a lot of these games, he's coming to me and going, I would like to play City Skylines. I would like to play this Mario game. I would like to play... And I'm just like, hell yes. <laughs> 100% yes, let's do that now. Um, so that's quite exciting because it means that, yeah, I, I can connect with that. I can hopefully... You know, we, we've got a pattern there. Um, I have been trying to get him into other things because I don't want him to just be a little vegetable in front of the computer all the time. Um, but then it didn't do me that much harm personally. I know my mum, if she was watching, would be like, Argh! but... Um, you know, she's got a son with a degree and a lovely family and a house and everything. It's, uh, yeah, she should be happy with, with what, what <laughs> the games that raised me. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a nice weekend. I do feel I do feel a lot more chilled and happy and whatnot now. Um, we're going through the slight stress of trying to figure out what to do in the summer. We want to take the kids away or something and we can't figure out what to do or where to go or how to afford it and all of that malarkey. But... If that's your biggest problem going on at the moment in this little lull, then that's a good lull, isn't it, really? Um, I'm trying not to worry too much about the school stuff because it's all just kicking on in the background, just waiting for decisions and whatnot there. They had a training day today, so they've not been in, which is part of the reason why I've not had to cover any issues with that. But back tomorrow, we've got a uh, babysitter picking up and looking after Ollie in the afternoon, which, again, I'm slightly nervous about, but they're a, a specialist. We, we've gone to a company that's got specialists, so I'm hoping that that will help. 
Um, I don't know why it's freaking me out a bit because they're coming to our house. I don't know why that's bothering me, but it is. Um, but yeah, other than that, all is cool. Had a really cool Father's Day. Felt really good. Uh, you know, the kids have been lovely. And uh, yeah, just everything's been really nice. I like a positive Monday video. Hopefully Wednesday's video will be equally as good. I'm hoping that giving the school these tips from my friend at work will make a difference. And so far, the first one sounds so simple. Hopefully it should be. Anyway, going to wrap up. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions you'd like me to ask them because they might have an idea, I might tell someone else I know has this issue of what they do. Let me know, because if I can find out and help you all, then I'm more than happy to. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up. Thanks for, talk Thanks for watching. Not talking, I'm talking. Cheers. Speak to you soon. Bye.